I'm Dr. Jack Gilbert. And isn't that romantic? It's been said that the way to someone's heart is through their stomach. It's not cliche, but what if there was something more to that than we previously thought? Many recent studies have started to demonstrate a link between the bacteria living in your gut and how your brain works. We call this the gut-brain axis. It's the highway of communication between our gut microbiome and our brain. There's two ways this works. Firstly, the gut bacteria influence our immune system, changing our hormonal balance and affecting how we feel. Secondly, the gut bacteria can produce the chemicals which make our brains work. If one or both of these mechanisms is out of balance, it can affect our behavior. This is an exciting area of research because it offers up the potential for new avenues for treating depression and anxiety, even neurodevelopmental conditions like autism and debilitating conditions such as Parkinson's and Alzheimer's. Sam Sisodia and Miles Minter have already shown that they can treat one of the major pathologies of Alzheimer's in a mouse by changing the bacterial community in its gut. The neurodegenerative disease setting shares a lot of the same pathological mechanisms mm -hmm. and one of those is, is inflammation of the brain that that we see in Alzheimer's, we see in Parkinson's, we see in stroke, and we see in traumatic brain injury. And you injury. see in CTE. In CTE, yeah. So one way that, that the field is now starting to begin to believe that that inflammation is controlled is through the microbiome. Mm -hmm. It's priming your immune system. And 10 years ago, we did not know that. Right, right. And so this is a rapidly expanding field across all of these neurodegenerative diseases. The, the relationship between the gut bacteria, microbiome, and Alzheimer's disease has really been underappreciated and uh, we're probably the first laboratory to actually take a, take a look at it. That is to change bacterial species in the gut of animals that develop pathology and to ask the question, does that have any impact on the pathology that you normally would see? So basically in the lab we have uh, mice that recapitulate the amyloid plaque deposition in the brains of human Alzheimer's patients. So this amyloid is a protein that is thought to contribute to the degeneration of your neurons and the loss of your memory over time. And so what we are able to show using a broad spectrum antibiotic combination to deplete the microbes of these mice is that you actually see a twofold reduction in the plaque deposition in these animals. And so alongside that, we also see that we're changing the, at least what we think, the innate immune response. And new data to suggest that we're actually changing adaptive immunity through T cells as well. Mm -hmm. uh, that could be a, a primary mechanism by how these plaques are cleared from the brain. These scientific advances are changing the way we view mental health and providing us with a raft of new strategies for alleviating these problems. The research is in its infancy, but the future is promising. We may get to a time where treating a disease or changing how we feel is as simple as taking a clinical probiotic, just changing what we eat. Would you like to see a dessert menu? Yeah, I think I'll indulge a little. What about this?